श्री गुरुभ्यो नम ओ सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तुमाषा वह ओ शाति 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 अथ ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणी न स्वयं व्यासेन घटिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वामुसंदी भगवद्गीते भगवद्वेशिनी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे पुल्लारविंदय तपत्रनेत्रया भारत तैलपूर्ण प्रज्वालित ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रेत्रकपाण ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतुहे नम सर्वोपनिषदो गाओ दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थ वत्स सुधीभोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत् वसुदेव सुत कंस चाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोण तटा जयद्रथ जला गांधार नीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोर मकरा दुर्योधना वर्ति सोतीर्ण खलु पांडवैरण नदी कईवर्थक केशव पाराशर्यवच सरोज ममल गीतांधोत्कट नाख्यानकसर हरिकथा संबोधना बोधित लोके सज्जन षटर हर पेपीयम मुदा भूयाद भारत पंकज कलीमल प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे परमानंदमाधव यं ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमरतस्तुन्वती दिव्यस्तव वेद सांग पदक्रमोपनिषदर्गा सामगास्तिगते न मनसा पश्यम योगिनो यम न विदुसुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम शाताकारम भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिध्यानगम्यम वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ नमस्ते yeah so today dr j will uh, share with us uh, um, the the last um, part of the of, of the six chapters of gita um chapter 13 which is about uh, the kshetra kshetra gnana vibhoga yoga next slide field is the body it's also the mind and the intellect too it is the ego as well in this field arises desires hopes pleasure pain weakness and strong will it is everything out there that you can imagine what is it not let's find out 
only the teacher knows. Namaste. Can you hear me okay? Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha. Om Shri Saraswatyaya Namaha. Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha. Shri Matre Namaha. Go Matre Namaha. Gita Matre Namaha. Shri Krishna Parabrahmane Namaha. Sabhaya Namaha. Salutations to Ganesha. Mata Saraswati, Guru Parampara, Gita Mata, Veda Mata, Shri Krishna Paramatma, and this August Assembly. Thank you all for joining. We have studied two Shatkas, Karma Shatka and Bhakti Shatka. Shatka is a group of six. So here, group of six chapters. The first six chapters are called Karma Shatka. Second, six chapters, seven to twelve, are grouped under Bhakti Shatka. And the last six are Jnana Shatka. Tattva Masi is a Mahavakya. Mahavakya is that great sentence which talks about Jiva Brahma Aikyam. So the union of the individual soul with the cosmic consciousness. So these are Mahavakyas. The four well-known Mahavakyas are Tattvamasi, Tat, Tvam, Asi. Tat, that, Tvam, thou, art, or or, Asi. This is from Samaveda. From Rigveda, Pragnanam Brahma, Pragnanam Brahma. That Prakrishta Jnanam itself is Brahma. Jnana meva kaivalyam. Jnana meva moksha. So that Jnana, Pragnanam, Prakrishta Jnanam, the knowledge about what? About the self. This is from Rigveda. And from Yajurveda, it is Aham Brahmasmi. I am that Brahman. From Adharvana Veda, it is Ayam Atma Brahma. This Atman, this Self is Brahman. And we have talked about the meanings, the etymological meanings of Atma and Brahma also. And the other ones, Sarvam Khalvedam Brahma, that is also a Mahavakya. From 13th chapter onwards, we will see repetition or connection of the first six chapters with the second six chapters. And uh, here onwards, you'll see a very analytical approach of the teacher. And the teacher is no less. He's a teacher of the teachers. He's a teacher of the universe, teacher of the entire world, and teacher of the past, present, and future. And the names of the chapters also very peculiarly named as Vibhaga, Vibhaga, so dissecting. The 13th chapter you'll see the name here is Kshetra, Kshetragnya, Vibhaga Yogaha. Kshetra, Kshetragnya Yogaha, but Kshetra, Kshetragnya, Vibhaga Yogaha is a more popularly known name. So it's a division, dissection, and detailed analysis of Kshetra and Kshetra Gnya. The 14th chapter is named as Gunatraya Vibhaga Yoga. 16th chapter is named as Daiva Asura, Daiva Asura Sampat Vibhaga Yoga. 
ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಎಸ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾತ್ರಯ ವಿಭಾಗ ಯೋಗ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಅನಲಿಟಿಕಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗುರುಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ this first verse you may not find in some text but i shall read it some say it was added by madhusudana saraswati the one who wrote dhyana shlokas many of the dhyana shlokas and some say it is a possible intrusion intrusion sorry about the spelling later on but whatever it may be the essence of the chapter is given in this verse which is asked as a question by arjuna he asks about six different things some say after such a great detailed uh, yet succinct but yet complete talk about bhakti there is no need for arjuna to deviate and uh, madhusudana saraswati included it or other rishis included it let us take it as as a prasada and if we do not include this bhagavad gita shlokas are 700 if we include this it becomes 701 so this is not counted and then gita is called gita sapta sati gita bhagavad gita sapta 7 sati 100 sati satam sati the one which has 100 700 verses arjuna uvacha prakritim purusham chaiva kshetram kshetragnya mevacha ಏತದ್ ವೇದಿತು ಇಚ್ಛಾಮಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಜ್ಞೇಯಂ ಚ ಕೇಶವ ಓ ಕೇಶವ ಕೇಶವ ಕಶ್ಚ ಅಶ್ಚ ಈಶಶ್ಚ ದ ಟ್ರಿನಿಟಿ ಕಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಅಂಡ್ ಈಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶಿವ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಿವಾತ್ಮಕ ರೂಪ ಓ ಕೇಶವ ಆರ್ ಓ ಕೇಶಿ ಸೂದನ the one who killed kesi kesi means what the entangled the keshas entangled keshas so the one who actually taken out the entanglements the one who has solved the puzzle for us or swami chinmayananda once said it probably was kleshava then he was known as keshava klesha means difficulties the one who is a remover of difficulties the one who has said ashochya nanva shochastvam mashuchaha mashuchaha akuna matat that kesa okay sir now i want to know about prakriti purusha kshetra kshetragnya and gyanam along with gnyayam so six prakriti purusha kshetra kshetra gnya gyanam and gnyayam now we will talk more in detail about this so this is a beautiful way of putting what is there in the chapter what is going to be analyzed what is going to be taught so buddha used to say it seems a few things and then his disciples would say hey this is not there in standard scriptures or texts then buddha used to say it seems okay now onwards add this in the standard text so that is how rishis have given it so we will take it but if you do not take it as i said it's called gita saptashati very popular popular name and similarly we have durga saptashati so this seven is a very mystic number and it's a very cryptic number we live only seven days in life sunday monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and the so called weekend friday saturday and sunday only seven days to live and we repeat this till our end 
Remember this daily, my friend. There ain't an eighth day to spend. The sun god rides on seven horses and seven auspicious primal rays, shining relentlessly all seven days. And the fire god also has seven flames, Sapta Juhwa, Sapta Chihi. And we see seven colors in the world, the Vibjiyar. There ain't an eighth color to glow. It's nature's beauty. Oh, my friend, take a bow. There are seven notes in music, Kasare, Gama, Padani, which turn the sound into magic. There ain't an eighth note in tune. Oh, dear friend, this is our fortune. In the sacred Hindu wedlock, uh, bride and groom take seven steps to live together in the world and to give together to the world. So the auspicious group of seven shall shower all good from heaven. There are seven heavens. There are seven saints. There are seven dhatus, seven chakras. So this seven is very a blessed number in all the regions. And in all religions, uh, number seven is mystic and it's cryptic. So, Gita Saptasati. Shri Bhagavan Vacha. So, Arjuna asked Prakriti Purusha, Kshetra Kshetra Gnya, then Gnanam and Gnayam. But if, he, if Arjuna has asked, Krishna doesn't answer in the same way. But the teacher knows better. The teacher knows better what a disciple would understand in the order with which if it is taught. So it is to make the student understand the God chose his own order. First, Lord Krishna talks about Sarira. Idam Sariram Kaunteya Kshetra Mitya Bhidiyate Simple definition. O Arjuna, O Kaunteya, O Kuntika Bete. Idam Sariram, this body, Sariram. Sarira, Shed Vikari Sarira. Shiriate iti Sarira. The one which is going to be aged, bruised, and gets old. I'm dilapidated uh, to come to an end. That is called Sariram. Sariram. It is also called Deham. Deham comes from Dih Datu. Dih means the one which can contract and expand. Or Dahyate iti Deham, the one which is going to be burnt. So the cremation at one day, you know, on, at, at one time. It is also called Tanu, 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 the one which expands. Tanuja, you might have heard that name. The one who is born from our Tanu is Tanuja. So Tanuja means daughter. Tanuja. And uh, this Serera is Kshetra. So Kshetra, you might have heard Hindi word Kheti, Kheti. So Kheti is field. So the field is in Sanskritam, Kshetra. So Kshetra, the meaning of it is, is a field which will provide all the ingredients for a seed to proliferate and sprout and grow. So field which contains all the ingredients and helps and nourishes for the seed to sprout and flourish. That is Kshetra. In the same way, this Sarira also is a Kshetra for all the seeds of our thoughts and vasanas to be sprouted, flourished and nourished and expand. The one who knows this is called Kshetra Gnya. Gnya means the knower. So Kshetra Gnya, the knower of the field. So as you sow, so you reap. As you work, so you gain the reward. Hence, my friend, let's be careful in choosing the right seed and uh, the right field. Clothe the mind with the practice and prepare the land of thoughts. 
water it with the right worship and wait for the wisdom sprouts. We shall all reach the goals in our lives and reap the fruits in due course. With the right planning and the right planting, with full efforts and the divine effects. As we sow, so we reap. The Kshetragnya is a farmer and the knower, owner of the field and lord of the land. He is that one who is manifesting as many, the one who is seated in many, the one as if it's many, and the one who wanted to become many. So Kamayat, Saha Akamayat, he desired to be many. The master and the father, the means and the goal, the ruler and the rules, the values and the virtues, the light of all lights, the goal of all lives, the force of all beings and the source of all beginnings. This is what all Vedas propound, all sutras resound, all scriptures proclaim and all sages repeat and prostrate. Kshetra and Kshetra Kshetra Gnam Chapi Mam Vidhi Sarva Kshetra Shubharata Kshetra Kshetra Gnya Yodhyanam Yatat Gnanam Matam Mama. So, my, in my opinion, or this is my opinion, o Arjuna, whoever knows, whoever knows, the knowledge or whoever knows Kshetra fully and about Kshetra Gnya, that is Gnanam. And who is this Kshetragnya? Know me as Kshetragnya in all Kshetras. You see? Kshetragnyam chapi mam vidhi. That is a singular. Kshetragnya is singular. The second case of Kshetragnya is Kshetragnyam. Sarva Kshetreshu is a plural. All Kshetras. All Kshetras. Now we'll talk about it. It is like that one son as Bhishma praises in Bhishma Stuti in Bhagavatam, that one sun who is reflected in all the pots filled with waters. And it is also that Paramatma who is shining in all Shariras. Shariras all animal kingdom, plant kingdom, the human kingdom. And not only that, but also all beings, the planets, the chera and achara, sthavara and jangama. If you come back to sharira, there are three shariras. Sthula, sukshma, karana sharira. Sthula is gross body, what is visible. Subtle is something which is not easily, in, not, not easily comprehensible. It is antakkaranas if we take manaha, mind, buddhi, intellect. Ego, ahankara. Then consciousness, the chitta or memory. So, mana, buddhi, chitta, ahankara. That is sukshma, subtle body. And the causal is karana sharira, sthula, sukshma, karana sharira. Karana sharira is the causal body for the subtle and gross body to come into existence. And these are all beautifully said in a text called Tattva Bodha. Tattva Bodha. Time permits, God willing, we can take that text sometime. So it is present in all these sharinas and it is present in all the bodies. So that Sarvakshetra is Sukshetra Gnya is me, O Arjuna. And whoever knows this is the knower and this is the knowledge. And I'm not telling you uh, my own philosophy. I'm not telling you the cock and bull stories. I'm not vehemently telling uh, my opinion. This is what is sung by many rishis. This is what is proclaimed by all the Vedas. Uh, and this is uh, all supported by Brahma Sutras uh, and very analytically. These are the references of Arjuna. Rishi Bhirbahu Dhagitam Chando Virvi Vidhai Pruthak Brahma Sutra Padais Chaiva Hetu Mad Bhirvi Nishchitai We talked about what Sutra means like 
in, in uh, when we talked about Narada Bhakti Sutras or Yoga Sutras. So that Alpaksharam, Asandigdham, Saravat Viswato Mukham. So very succinctly said, aphorism, without any doubt and universally applicable. And the Rishis, Rishi means the mantra drastas, the, the visionaries. And Chando means Chandas, means Vedas. Then Brahma Sutras. So these are Brahma Sutras, Upanishads, and Bhagavad Gita. Three together are called Prasthanatrayam. These are the major gateways and major um, pathways for us to reach the goal. The scriptures, three, three scriptures we have. In the same way, even in Vishnu Sahasranama also, Bhishma Pitamaha says, all these names, Rishabhippari Gitaani, Tani Vakshyami Bhutaye. So that is how uh, this uh, is uh, the references if you look at one way. Then how is the Kshetra formed? It is very analytical, you see. I mean, it is as if we are going to an anatomy lab. Mahabhutanya hankaraha buddhiravyakta mevacha Mahabhutanya hankaro buddhiravyakta mevacha indriyanida saikamcha panchachendriya gocharaha ichadvesha sukham dukham sanghatas chetana dhrutihi etat kshetram samasena savikara mudahritam Mahabhutani pancha Mahabhutani akasha Vayu, Agni, Apa are waters, Jalam and Bhumi. The Ahankara, the ego in us, which is endowed with Vasanas, or the reflection of the Vasanas. Buddhi, the intellect. Then Avyaktam, this Avyaktam is... Um, even the causal body, even before causal body, the one which is not manifest yet. So that mahatta, so mahataha ahankaraha, ahankara, then akasha sambhutaha, akashat vayu, vayo ragni, agne rapaha, adhya prithivi, prithivyam oshadayaha, oshadibhyo annam, annat bhavanti bhutani, parjanyadana sambhava. We have seen that. Then, Indriyani, Indriyas, we have 10 Indriyas, 5 Jnana Indriyas, 5 Karma Indriyas. So Jnana Indriyas are the senses of perception. They are Tvak, Chakshu, Shrotra, Jivva, Grana, Tvak, Skin, Chakshu, Eyes, Shrotra, Ears, Jivva, Tongue, Grana is Nose. Tvak, Chakshu, Shrotra, Jivva, Grana. Then five Karmendriyas are Vak, Pada, Pani, Payu, Upastha. Vak, the tongue again. So tongue has two. It is not only the Karmendriya, but Jnanendriya too. That's why they say Jite, Rase, Jitam, Sarvam. If we can take the control of the tongue, we have conquered the entire universe. Then Pada, feet, Pani, hands, Payu the excretory organs, upastha, the genital organs. So these are karmendriyas. Along with the ekam, one more thing. What is that one more thing? Manaha, manaha. And we have seen this when we talked about ratham. Sena yoru bhayor madhye ratham sthapaya mechuta. Then we saw that what ratham meant. Indriyani hayanyavuhu, sariram ratham evatu. Mana pragraham evacha, buddhim to saradhim vidhi. So we have seen all that. Atmanam. So atmanam, rathinam manye, buddhim to saradhim vidhi. Mana pragraham evacha, indriyani hayani, shariram ratham evatu. So ratha. And we also talked about this shariram as pura, the city of nine gates. Navadware pure dehi. So the nine gates we talked about. The two eyes, two, two nostrils, mouth, two ears, the navel, and or if you don't count the navel, it is again excretory and um, and reproductive organs. In Katopanishad, Puram Ekadasham. So if you include the umbilicus and then the fontanelle. 
So that is how all this body is named with so many meaningful names. Along with Icha and Vesha, Raga and Vesha, Sukham and Dukham. So it is BMW. It is body, mind and world. Body, mind and world. So all this is Kshetra. So this is uh, Savikaram. Vikara means the one which undergoes the modifications. Vikara is modification. What are those modifications? The six modifications. Shed Vikari, we say, Shariram. Asti, Jayate, Vardhate, Viparinimate, Apakshiyate, Nashyate. So that Asti, it was there in mother's womb as fetus. Jayate, born as a baby. Vardhate, growing as a child and adolescent. Viparinamate, then adolescence to adult, so parinama happens. Then apakshiyate, from, from adulthood to old age, slowly we keep uh, losing the things, so the apoptosis happens. Then one day, nashyati, so that is shadvikari. So that talks about kshetra and kshetranyam. And now, jnanam, jnanam, knowledge. So the knowledge is so well defined. The knowledge constitutes these great 20 values, which are given in five verses. The five verses, easy to remember, if you don't count the very first verse, as we talked about, 711. Remember 711. And the shloka goes like this um, from 7 to 11. Ama nitva madam vitvam ahim sakshanti rajavam achar yopasanam saucham sthairya matma vinigraha. Indriya Teshu Vairagyam Anahankara Yevacha Janmam Rutyu Jara Vyadi Dukadosa Nu Darshanam Asakti Rana Bhishvangaha Putradara Gruhadishu Nityam Chasamachitatvam Istanistopa Patishu Mayichananya Yogena Bhakti Ravya Bicharini Vivikta Desha Sevitvam Aratir Jana Samsadi Adhyat Magyana Nityatvam Tatva jnana atha darshanam, eta jnana miti proktam, ajnanam yata tonyadha. This is called jnana, and everything else is ajnanam. Swami Ranganathananda used to say, This is Upanishadik Vakya, Dve vidye veditavye. There are two vidyas that to be known. Paracha aparacha. So paravidya which talks about this. Apara vidya, so bhautika vidya, laukika vidya, all the degrees. MBBS, MD, MBA and all these degrees. Apara vidya. Para vidya, what talks about the self is para vidya. So bhautika, vaidika. So laukika, then Daivika. So these are the differences in vidyas. And that vidya is knowledge. Vidya is fund of knowledge. And here we may not have time to go through each and every one, but I may point out to some of them. Amanitvam, Amanitvam, humility. And humility, it is, uh, it comes with, it comes with the knowledge. Like a vruksha, a great tree with full of fruits, full of fruits, it actually bends. Whereas a vruksha with no fruits, you see, it stands so still and direct. And, uh, so that is dambha. So absence of adambhitvam gives amanitvam. And amanitvam leads to adambhitvam. And when you develop these qualities, Swami Chinmayananda says, don't worry about all the 20. We may not have even uh, one completely, but if you at least stick to one, they're all friends. They're all like muta, you know, so they're, they're all like gang, big gang. So if you invite one, all others come automatically. Ahimsa, ahimsa, sa, the, the kayaka, kayaka means physical. Vachika verbal. Then mental. So these are the three things. So Vachika, Kayaka, and Manasaka. So Ahimsa. 
Kshanti. Kshanti is forbearance, endurance. Arjavam, Rujutvam, the straightforwardness, like Arjuna, straightforwardness. Trikarana Shuddhi, Trikarana Shuddhi. So what you think, you say, and what you say, you do. That is Arjavam. Acharya Upasana, we talked about Guru Shishya. Shaucham, we talked about Antashaucham, Bahya Shaucham, Artha Shaucham. Atma Vinigraha, the control of senses. Then Vairagyam means, so knowing the limitations of Indriyarthas, the sense objects. Anahankara is uh, Naham, but it is all Daivam. So that is Anahankara. Then <clears throat> Anabhishvanga Putradara Gruhadishu. So this uh, may sound uh, very, very brutal. Brutal is not to have excessive attachment to Putra, Dara, and Gruha. Putra is son and daughter. Dara is spouse, and Gruha means the house. It is actually, you know, if you look at Prophet written by Khalil Gibran, he talks about marriage like this. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. So give some space to each other. So live, live together to reach that, that one helping each other. So that is Putradara Gruhadishu Anabhishvangaha. And he talks about children also. Your children are not your children. They are the children of time longing for itself. They come, they come through you, but they no, do not come from you. So they, you, you are, you are just the bow and they are the arrows shot by that uh, supreme consciousness into the future, which we cannot even dream to see. So that is uh, your children or not your children. Nacha masthani bhutani. Even the Lord himself has said, masthani sarva bhutani. But at the same time, nacha masthani bhutani. So let go, let go. So when they have to lead their life, let go. So that is this abhishvangaha is excessive attachment. Anabhishvangaha is um, allowing them into the future. So this is how uh, and other qualities have said, have been said so beautifully. Ananya yoga, ananya bhakti, avya bhicharini bhakti, we talked about. Then vivikta desha sevitvam. Swami Ranganathananda again points out that this is aloneness, not loneliness. Loneliness is associated with depression and negative thoughts. Aloneness is associated with the positive thoughts and creativity. Creativity. Then Janasamsadi, gossiping, not needed. Then Adhyatma Jnana, Nityatvam, always trying to know about the self, the self-study. Swadhyaya, Pravachanabhya, Napramaditavyam, Tattva Jnana, Darshanam. Then what is Gnayam? What is that who is to be known? The one who is everywhere, we have seen in Vibhuti Yoga and Vishwarupa Sandarshana Yoga. We have seen his Vibhuti, Mahima, and we also have seen Yoga. We have seen the Lord in the universe and the universe in the Lord. How is he? Sarvatappa nipadam tat sarvatokshishiro mukham sarvatasruti man loke sarvamavrutya tishthati. Arjuna has said, looking at this, Nama purastha radhaprushtataste namostute sarvata eva sarva. And I have seen Aneka Bahu Daravaktra Netram in Purusha Sukta Sahasra Shirsha Purushaha Sahasraksha Sahasra Path Narayana Sukta Sahasra Shirsham Devam Vishwaksham Vishwashambhuvam Pani Padam Tatta Pani and Padam that hands and feet are everywhere. 
everywhere means what you and i and everyone else sarvataha akshi shira and mukham oh, all the eyes everywhere and heads everywhere the faces everywhere sarvata shruti man loke and the ears everywhere that means all of us are nothing but him or her or that as we talk about so sarvata pani patam tat sarvatoksha shiro mukham sarvata shruti man loke sarvam avrutya tishthati and here the lord plays with the words and the meaning and uh, like we have seen in the ninth chapter masthani sarva bhutani nacha masthani in the same way sarvendriya guna bhasam sarvendriya vivarjitam asaktam sarva bhruchaiva nirgunam guna bhoktrucha i am nirguna and i am guna bhokta i am uh, asakta but at the same time i am sarva bhrutta and uh, i am in all indriyas but i am beyond indriyas also in like kena upanishad as we see that because of which the eyes can see but that which eyes cannot see that because of which the ears can hear but that which hears cannot hear so that is how sarvendriya gunabhasam sarvendriya vivarjitam so if shantanayak garu is there she would really appreciate this uh, khelati brahmande khelati pindande so that brahman that uh, supreme consciousness revels revels in brahmanda and pindanda let us see how परमात्मोहं परिपूर्णोहं ब्रह्मैवाहं ब्रह्मेति वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस परमात्मा परिपूर्ण ब्रह्म एव अहम अहम ब्रह्मास्मि एंड हाउ एंड वेर त्वक्चक्षश्रुति जीवग्राने पंचविध प्राणोपस्थाने त्वक् चक्षु Shruti, Jivva, Grana. We just talked about the sense organs. Pancha Vedha Prana Upasthane. So Pancha Prana is also. So Prana, Apana, Vyana, Udana, Samana. So the respiratory, the circulatory, the digestive. And the one, the ejectory. So all these vayus. All these vayus. So these Pancha Prana is. then shabd sparsha rasadika matre satvika rajasa tamasa mitre so shabd sparsha rupa rasa gandha these are the sense objects shabd akasha tattvam sparsha vayu tattvam touch rasa jala tattvam for the tongue then gandha ghranam is nose for the nose for the nostrils the smell so then drushyam roopam is for the eyes so shabda sparsha rasadika matre and the three guna satvika rajasa tamasa mitre buddhi manas chitta ahankaro bhujala teja gagana samire buddhi manas chitta ahankara antakkarana bhu bhumi jala water teja agni gagana akasha samira vayu so in this that brahmanda and also in this pindanda that brahman khelati khelati brahmande khelati pindande and at the same time now if we go back okay if you go back shankaracharya has said mano buddhi ahankara chittani naham na cha shrotra jivve na cha ghrana netre na cha vyoma bhumir na tejo na vayu who am i chidananda roopa shivoham shivoham शिवोहम शिवोहम सर्वेन्द्रिय गुणाभासम सर्वेन्द्रिय विवर्जितम सी वी हैव सीन हाउ ही कम्स इनटू ऑल दिस एंड देन हाउ ही रिट्रीव्स फ्रॉम ऑल दिस एंड देन अबव ऑल दिस अनमाचार्य आल्सो हैज संग सो वेल दैट वन दैट वन ब्रह्मा इज वन नन अदर देन जस्ट वन 
Manisha Panchakam is another one where Shankaracharya was stopped by a chandala on the road. When chandala comes on his way, chandala, Shapaka, the dog eater, or the dirty, quote-unquote, looking man, uneducated. So he says, gacha, gacha, move, move, Shankaracharya says. Then that chandala, who is actually Shiva Swarupa, Shiva, he says, who are you asking to move away? Annamayad, Annamayad. Are you asking this Annamayam from Annamaya? So my body to move away from your body? Annamayad, Annamayad. Athava, or Chaitanya Meva Chaitanya. Or are you asking the Chaitanya in me, the conscious in me, to move away from the conscious self? Which is in you. O Yativara, Duri Kartam Vanchasikim Bruhi, Gacha Gacheti, Gacha Gacha Iti, Kim Bruhi. And what do you want? So that is how he asks. And then Shankaracharya, of course, sings Manisha Panchakam. So that Brahmai Vahamidam, Jagacha Sakalam, Chinmatra Vistaritam, Sarvam Chait. The avidyaya, trigunaya, sesam, maya kalpitam, itam yasya dhudhamatihi, sukhatare, nitye, pare, nirmale, chandalostu, satudvijostu, guru riti, esha, manisha, mama. So this is my firm opinion. May he be chandala, may he be guru. He is the real knower. He is the real knower of this knowledge and the knowable. Yayam is knowable. And where is he? Again, the contradictory, like Upanishadic Vakyas, Bahirantastha Bhutanam, Acharam Charam Evacha, Sukshmatvatada Vignayam, Durastham Chantike Chatatta. He is outside and he is inside. When the pot is immersed in the water, the water is inside the pot and outside the pot. So similarly, Akasha, when you put a pot in the space, so the Ghata Akasha, the space is in Ghata, the pot, Matakasha, the space is in this uh, room. But Ghanakasha, Chidakasha, so that Ghanakasha which is there everywhere. The same Akasha is there in Chidakasha, in our Hrit, in our hearts also. So because of that subtlety, it is not seen. It is seen there in Acharam and Charam, Stavaram and Jangamam. It is far away if you don't know, but it is so nearer if you understand. Durastham cha antike chata. Tadure tadantike. So in, in Upanishad we see that. Tadure tadantike. And how is it? Avibhaktam cha avibhaktam cha bhuteshu vibhaktam eva cha sthitam bhuta bhartru cha tagnyayam prasishnu prabha vishnu cha. It appears as if it is divided. It is that one undivided in the divided. That one undecaying in the decaying. How? Like the clay is one, but pots are many. Mrutpinda mekam bahubhanda rupam. Ocean is one, samudra eko. Waves are many, bahavotaranga. Gold is one, suvarna mekam. Chains are many, nana vidhani divyani, abharanani. God is one. So daivam ekam eko devaha. Gudaha, Sarva Bhutesha Gudaha, but names and forms are many. Nama Rupa are so many. Then he talks about that light, the light of the lights. We just celebrated the Diwali. Jyoti Shama Pita Jyoti Hi Tamasapara Muchete, Jnanam Yeyam Jnanagamyam, Rudi Sarvasya Vishtitam. That light of all lights. That luminosity, the primal luminosity, which lightens up every other light, which lightens up every light is jnana also, the one which gives prakasha, the lumin, the, the luminosity, the light to all the beings, to all the worlds. So that shubham karoti kalyanam arogyam dhanasampada. So that when we actually light the lamp, that's how far. We pray. So with this, we understand. Who am I? Who am I? Do I know me when we deep dive into ourselves? Did I grow deep within me? So this is all the use of knowing this. Where did I come from? And where do I end up? 
what's my aim and where is my home? Am I just the physical body of five elements? Am I just the emotional mind of wavering thoughts? Am I the intellect? Pardon there. So am I the intellect that says what is right and not? Am I the stubborn ego filled with selfish act? Nay, I'm not any of these. I'm none of the above. I'm far above all the above. I am the spark of the divinity which is present in these, but also beyond these. I am the mark of eternity. I am that. I am that. I am that. That which never perishes, that which ever nourishes, that which never diminishes, that which ignites all power, that which illumines all forever. And these verses, we will see it again and again in the 15th chapter also. So there We'll come to that in the 15th chapter and then talk about this is taken from Upanishads. Natatra Suryo Bhatina Chandra Tarakam. That light. So ignite that light. Light the light. Not one light, but many a light. Spread the light and love, not the hatred. The light of light shines forth in all our hearts. Lo Adi light. It is the same light. To reach any height in life, to pass through the life's darkest night, it is the inner light that gives us the sight. It is the same self, myself or yourself. The self of all, the light of all. So it is one, not many, as we talked about. Jyoti Shama Jyotihi Tamasap Paramuchyate. Now, we talked about Kshetra Kshetra. We talked about Jnanam Jnanam. Now we'll talk about Prakriti and Purusha. If you really see, Prakriti and Kshetra are one and the same. And if you also see Purusha and Gnayam and Kshetra Gnaya are one and the same. And this is all the Jnana. So now, Prakriti and Purusha Chaiva Vidhyana Deyu Bhavapi Vikaramscha Gunams Chaiva Vidhi Prakriti Sambhavan O Arjuna do not go into the mathematics and astrology and astronomy and see how old this world was, our world is. But this Prakriti, Prakriti, Prathamam Krutam, the one which is first made, is Prakriti. Prakristena Krutam, the one which is made in a very special way. And Purusha, Purusha, we talked about so many times. Pure Seti Iti Purusha, the one who lives in this Kshetragnya. Purva Masit, the one who was there before anybody. Purnatvat, Purnatvat, the one who is complete. Purayati iti Purusha, the one who fills us. So this way, so many meanings. Both are anadi, anadi. Then Prakriti, Maya, we call Avidya. Prakriti, Maya, Avidya, these are all. Uh, and then anadi, then uh, then there are some more names which are given for Prakriti. So Prakriti, Anadi, Avidya, Maya, Pradhana, Pradhanam also, Pradhanam. So these are all the names given for Prakriti. And it is so difficult. We talked about Maya, Yama, Yama is whoever is, mother is Maya. Yama, whoever actually is not there once for the realized soul, so is beyond Maya. So Sanapi. This is sat naapi, asat naapi, sanapi sanna, api ubhayatma kano, bhinnapi bhinnapi ubhayatma kano, Shankaracharya says. So this is maha adbhuta, anirvachaniya rupa. It is so difficult. If you try to understand, you can't understand. If you want to define, it cannot be defined. It's a wonder, unexplainable. This is maya. Mahadbhuta, anirvachaniya rupa. Then how do you know it? Karyanumeya sudhiyaiva maya. So you will only see after the effect. When there is effect, oh my goodness, this is all maya. This is because of maya. So karya karana kartrutve hetu prakriti ruchyate. The cause and effect is because of prakriti. But purusha as jiva is entangled in this body and he enjoys all these the sense objects. So Purusha Sukadukkana Bhoktrutve Eturuchate. And because of this, this jiva goes from life to life, life to life, and it goes on and on 
goes on and on. So Brahman is divided into five uh, parts, five parts, let us say. We talked about in the last class. Asti bhati priyam rupam nama chet iti amsa panchakam. Asti bhati priyam rupam nama chet yamsa panchakam. Adhyatrayam brahma rupam. Asti bhati priyam. That which is ever existent. That which is ever illumining, that which is all blissful is Brahman. What, whichever, whatever has got a name and form is a Jagat. So that is how this uh, Purusha and Prakriti has uh, been together and Anadi. Anadi. So Purusha is Upadrashta, Anumanta, Bharta, Bhokta, Paramatma in this Deha as Dehi. That Purushaha is there. So Jiva and that Jiva, when bound by Maya, is Jiva, goes from Jiva to Jiva to Jiva. When realized, Aham Brahmasmi, that Jiva is Param Purusha, Ara Purusha. Then this Prakriti and Purusha, Shankaracharya, he sings so well in both Sondarya Lahari and Sivananda Lahari because you cannot separate Ardhanarishwara Tattva. Kalabhyam, Choda, Lankrita, Shashi, Kalabhyam, Nijata, Palabhyam, Bhakti, Shuprakatita, Palabhyam, Bhavatume, Sivabhyam, Asto, Katri, Bhavana, Sivabhyam, Rudipunar, Bhavabhyam, Anandas, Puradana, Bhavabhyam, Natiriyam. So whenever you see this Bhyam, it is two together. Lakshmi, Narayana, Bhyam, Namaha. Parvati, Parameshwara, Bhyam, Namaha. So that is how. So Kalabhyam. Sivabhyam. Then, Siva Shaktya Yukto Yadi Bhavati Shakta Prabhavitum Nache Devam Devo Nakalukushala Spanditumapi. So, without Shakti, Shiva cannot do, cannot move even an inch. And uh, without this Shiva and Shakti, Atastva Maradhyam Harihara Virincha Virapi Brahma Vishnu Maheshwara cannot do anything. Pranantum Stotumva Katamakruta Punya Prabhavati. These are very first verses of Sivananda Lahari and Sondarya Lahari. So this uh, Purusha Angusta Matraha Purushaha Madhya Atmanitishthati. So Rudhya Kohara Madhye, as Ramana Maharshi has said, Aha Mahamiti Bhati. So that Atman is there. Rudi Sarvasya Vishtitam, Rudi Sarvasya Dhishtitam, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma, Neha Nana Astikinchana, Na Iha Nana Astikinchana, Iha here, Nana many things, Na Asti Kinchidapi, Matta Parataram Nanyat Kinchidasti Dhananjaya. So Yeko Devaha Sarvabhuti Shugudaha. Sarvavyapi Sarvabhutantaratma Karma Dhyakshaha Sarvabhuta Divasa Sakshi Cheta Kevalaha Nirgunaha. So Upanishad Vakyas are said in this 13th chapter. So once he knows this, he knows everything. And whatever he does, wherever he goes, he is a knower. Yayevam Vetti Purusham Sahayeva Vetti. Then to know this, to go there, there are many paths. Respect all the paths. Respect all the faiths. And respect each and everyone's opinion. Because opinion is also divine. In Vishnu Sahasranama we see Abhipraya Priyarkorha Priyakrut Priti Vardhana. So Abhipraya. Dhyane Natmani Pashyanti Kechid Atmana Matmana Anye Sankhena Yogena Karma Yogena Chapare Anye Tveva Majanantaha Shutvanye Bhyau Pasate Tepi Chati Tarantyeva Mrityam Suti Parayana Some visualize and see him in Dhyana. Some anal analyze and analytically Sankhena they see him by the self in their own self, Atmanam, Atmana, Atman Yeva, so Pashyati, Tushyati. Others, not knowing any of this, Karma Yoga, they just think work is worship, so that's workship for them. Others, not knowing even that, not knowing what they are doing, but listening from others, hearing from others, they believe, and then with that faith, they move on. So 
Vishnabuddhi Bhedam Janaye Tagnyanam Karma Sanginam. So that, O oh Arjuna, know this. Whatever you see, Sattvam Sthavara Jangamam. So whatever has come into existence, Sthavara or Jangama. Sthavara means Sthavara Nam Himalaya, the one which does not move. Jangama, Jangama, the one which goes on and on. That is because of Kshetra and Kshetra Nyasam Yoga. And all this is done by Prakriti. Prakriti has such a power to move everything here. Purusha, Nirgunatvat, Anaditvat. So even though he is in this Sharira, cannot be realized because he is like that, fuel for the car. Fuel for the car. Fuel is not seen. The car moves. The steering is there and all the body parts are seen very well. But the fuel is not seen. That fuel for the, the body to move. So, sharira sthopi kaunte. And untainted na karoti na lityate. Because this sky, the space, which is so subtle. We think we are seeing space. So, the space is so subtle. Because of its subtlety, it is actually accommodating so much. So, yadha sarvagatam sokshmyat akasam nopalipyate sarvatra vasthito dehe tatha atma apinalipyate. So, the space is not tainted by any of this or any of us in the same way, Paramatma, subtler than the subtlest. So, sokshmat sokshma anoraneyan mahato mahiyan. That's why it cannot be perceived. It took a long time for scientists to realize that. Space is an element. Space is an element because of its subtlety. Now, how? This great example. That one sun who illumines this entire earth in the same way that Kshetragnya illumines all Kshetras. Yadha prakasha yatyekaha krishnam lokam imam ravihi. Ravi surya. Imam lokam, this world. Krishnam entire in its entirety. Ekaha Ravihi Yadha Prakashayati, just as he illumines, so does this Kshetra Gnam, Kshetri. The one who in Kshetra is Kshetri. The one on in Deha is Dehi. So the one the who is knower of the Kshetra is Kshetra Gnam. So that Kshetra Gnam, that Kshetri, that Dehi. Krishnam Kshetram Prakashayati O Bharata. See, actually, what a beautiful word is used here to address Arjuna O Bharata. Bha means Prakasha. Rata, the one who revels in Prakasha, is Bharata. We all are Bharatas. We all have to become Bharatas. So, Kshetra Kshetra Gyayo Revam Amtaram Jnana Chakshusha. So, this is possible with Jnana Chakshu, Divya Chakshu. And who will give that? Divyam Dadamite Chakshuhu. Pashyame yoga maishwaram. So that buddhi, again that buddhi, Tesha mevanu kampartham, Ahama jnana jam tamaha, Nasha yam yatma bhavastho, Jnana deepena bhasvata. Then that buddhi, I only give. So that buddhi, that jyoti is lit by that supreme consciousness. Then we understand this bhuta prakriti, purusha and moksha. Sarvam Krishna Padamast. Namaste. The watcher. Within each one of us exists the watcher. Watching and enjoying, supporting, approving every action that's performed in the room and is the true knower. Lighting the heart with its flame, it is the light of lights. It is the object, the goal of knowledge, and knowledge itself. Even if you never know the watcher, but you hear, contemplate, and follow the sign shown by the teacher who has seen that knower, you too will pass beyond death. Atha Gita Mahatmyam 
ಗೀತಾಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಮಿದಂ ಪುಣ್ಯಂ ಯಃ ಪಟೇ ಪ್ರಯತ ಪುಮಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣೋ ಪದಮವಾಪ್ನೋತಿ ಭಯಶೋಕಾದಿವರ್ಜಿತ ಗೀತಾಧ್ಯಯನಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮಪರ ನೈವ ಸಂತಿ ಪಾಪಿ ಪೂರ್ವಜನ್ಮ ಕೃತ ಮಲನಿರ್ಮೋಚನ ಪುಂಸಾ ಜಲಸ್ನಾನ ದಿನೇ ದಿನೇ ಸಕೃದ್ಗೀತಾಂಭಸಿ ಸ್ನಾನ ಸಂಸಾರ ಮಲನಾಶನ ಗೀತಾ ಸುಗೀತಾ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಕಿಮನ್ಯೈ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಸ್ತರೈ ಯಾಸ್ವಯಂ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಮುಖ ಪದ್ಮಾಧ್ವಿನಿಸೃತ ಭಾರತಾಮೃತ ಸರ್ವಸ್ವ ವಿಷ್ಣೋರ್ವಕ್ತ್ರಾಧ್ವಿನಿಸೃತ ಗೀತಾ ಗಂಗೋದಕಂ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಸರ್ವೋಪನಿಷದೋ ಗಾವೋ ದೋಗ್ಧಾಗೋಪಾಲನಂದನ ಪಾರ್ಥೋ ವತ್ಸ ಸುಧೀರ್ಭೋಕ್ತ ದುಗ್ಧಂ ಗೀತಾಮೃತ ಮಹತ್ ಏಕ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದೇವಕೀ ಪುತ್ರ ಗೀತ ಏಕೋ ದೇವೋ ದೇವಕೀ ಪುತ್ರ ಏಕೋ ಮಂತ್ರಸ್ತಾಮಿ ಕರ್ಮಾಪ್ಯೇಕ ತೇವಸ್ಯ ಸೇವಾ ಕಾಯೇ ನವಚ ಮನಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯೈರ್ವಾ ಬುಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮನ ವಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಕರೋಮಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಸಕಲಂ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯೇತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯೇತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಸರ್ವಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು